Hi, this is Todd Miller. I am the product specialist here with Hawk Performance. Uh, we want to talk a little bit today about brake pad installation, uh, basically the burnishing process and how you break in your new brake pads with your current rotors or your new rotors. One thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you resurface your old rotors uh, if they have grooves on them or replace them with new and if they don't have any grooves and are in good shape you want to go ahead and clean off that transfer layer uh, if it's say a race pad or a competitor's pad you don't want to really mix up the two materials and the transfer layer is really where you take brake pad material and get it to transfer across to the rotor surface this transfer layer is what does most of the work for you on your brake pads so it's important to make sure you do a good bed in procedure to get a good transfer layer evenly built up on the rotor and you'll notice with each one of our brake pads, you, you've got a few instructions about them here. You've got a burnishing instruction here on the bottom that you can follow. We also send it with a grease pack so that you can use this between the backing plate and the caliper to help eliminate any possible noise that might come up from the metal-on-metal -metal contact. And you'll also find that we include a shim on our backing plates to help with that. So the brake pad break-in procedure is you basically want to do six to ten stops using moderate pressure on your pedal from about 30 to 35 miles per hour slowing to about five miles per hour you do not want to drag the pedal so each time that you do one of these stops you remove your foot all the way you want to do these stops in relatively quick succession to one another and those will work out real well there your next one is do about two to three hard stops you're gonna hit the pedal pretty hard but you don't want to trigger your ABS so these ones will be from about 40 to 45 miles per hour down again to around 5. Uh, once you do those two stops, you should be good to go. You do not want to drag your brakes at any time because that builds too much heat and gives you an uneven transfer layer. Uh, you basically give about 15 minutes for the braking system to cool down. So you can park it in the driveway, release the pedal as soon as possible after you put it in park. And after that, uh, you're ready to go and enjoy your new Hawk Performance brake pads.